New at five building one on one relationships. That is just one area that Pittsburgh's police chief says he is focusing on. Channel 11's Gabriella DeLuca joins us live and Gabby, the police chief says that's just one way he is trying to improve the police force. Yes, Ryan, absolutely. Here inside Pittsburgh Police Headquarters, Police Chief Scott Schubert says he is working with his officers to prioritize relational policing. He says it is all in an effort to bridge the divide between the community and the police department. In a virtual discussion focusing on inclusion and diversity with police chiefs across the country, Pittsburgh Police Chief Scott Schubert made it clear he's working to create change. People are done talking. You know, they don't want to hear, they want to see that we're in doing intentional things to, to make substantive change uh, in what we do, and I think that's critically Im Im important. The topic is timely, as today is the first day of the trial for the Minneapolis police officer who is facing charges in George Floyd's death. <laughs> His death sparked outrage across the country and protests popped up everywhere, including here in Pittsburgh. The trial starts uh, today. The Minneapolis Police Department must focus their efforts on one citizen, one, citizen, one positive interaction uh, every day. It takes two to form a relationship, and that's, that's what relational policing is about. Have a happy new year. It's the same philosophy he tries to instill in his officers here in Pittsburgh. And he's proven he walks the talk as he walked every beat in the city to connect with the community. We're not in this one side against the other. We're in this together and we have to work hard to make sure that happens. In an effort to better understand all sides, Chief Schubert explained the multiple efforts the department takes to be more inclusive, from touring the Heinz History Center slavery exhibit to joining organizations in an effort to build community trust. And when asked about the prevalence of white supremacy in Pittsburgh, for him, it all starts with calling out hate. One hate crime is too many hate crimes, and we know that. Uh, um, we're fortunate in Pittsburgh that the, the, the numbers are very low, uh, but as I said, one is too many. We must all stand as one and call out hate, discrimination, and ignorance wherever we see it and wherever we hear it. Reporting in Pittsburgh, Gabriella DeLuca, Channel 11 News.